Well, Singapore is looking to build data centers. Uh, companies, uh, data centers in Singapore will need to meet higher sustainability standards. The pilot aims to bring the energy intensive facilities in line with Singapore's climate change commitments. There are currently more than 70 data centers in Singapore. Well, for more, let's hear from our reporter, Rebecca Mateo. Well, Rebecca, uh, what are some green standards that operators have to meet? Yeah, thanks, Lisa. So the, develop, the operators have to meet a green mark rating at the level of platinum certification. And that, that means they have to score at least 70 out of 100. And that's the highest score among the three tiers. Then they'll be assessed based on overall energy efficiency, having cooling system in place, for example, and also water efficiency. And next, they'll also have to achieve power usage effectiveness of at least 1.3. And the lower, the better, because it means lesser energy wastage and greater power efficiency. And IMDA says newer data centres are at about 1.35, and they hope to push them towards 1.3. And they, this is because they want them to optimise their energy efficiency in their operations and come up with measurements for that. And also, authorities are looking out for plans and proposals by operators to use renewable energy like hydrogen and solar panels in their operations. An industry representative I spoke to says these standards can actually encourage industry players to make necessary changes when time comes. But Rebecca, can uh, data centres actually be greener? Well, well, it is possible for data centres to be greener. An expert I spoke to earlier says Nordic countries, for example, tap on green as an example of free, free cooling. So they don't need a mechanical cooling system. They also have more ready access to on-site renewable energy. And that would be challenging for Singapore to do something like that because we are constrained by our climate and weather patterns. For all, so it will be difficult for us to search for alternative sources of renewable energy. But we can tap on the country's import of renewable energy projects Project, but this will take time for various parties to come to agreement. The hydrogen is a cleaner alternative uh, fuel. Uh, if it's actually produced uh, here, it's using renewable energy. And hydrogen fuel cell can be easily refilled to provide power to data centers, which are expected to have backup power systems for up to 48 hours. So more importantly, fuel cells actually generate zero emission uh, with uh, its uh, only byproduct being water. So why is you know Singapore back in the data center scene three years after it put pause on allowing new ones to be built? Well, that's because data centers want to be in Singapore and Singapore also want them here. First, because Singapore is a regional hub for data centers, it is well connected in the region, well regulated and steady supply of power and also free of natural disasters. This gives them operational stability. And Singapore also wants them here because it brings economic value against the backdrop of digitalization, technological adoption by businesses. But it's not all rosy. Data centers consume about 7% of Singapore's electricity. And Singapore climate is also hot and humid. That means they will need more energy to cool the service and power equipment. Now, up to 40% of the energy consumed by data centers goes to cooling the service. But with the launch of the pilot data centre, they are looking at greener data centres that could also bring in economic value to Singapore and strengthen the nation's position as a data hub. I think data centres represent the most important part of connectivity, which is the lifeblood of uh, digital economic growth anywhere in the world. Um, so to have this important asset class in Singapore represents the future of Singapore's digital growth as well. So it's very important to look at this uh, in, in, the, in the proper light. Increasingly, I think we're looking at more strategic workloads that are being processed inside data centers. As mentioned earlier, we're talking about fintech, AI, or in time to come, the metaverse as well. Well, many thanks for that, Rebecca. That was our reporter, Rebecca Matteo.